Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about learning strategies. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick my friend, I'm new to JS and my question is, should I focus on one thing? I'm curr currently learning JavaScript in... I, okay, he, he is learning JavaScript and he's googled JavaScript methods. Uh, and it has tons of different methods. So I'm so I'm learning a base in a product-based course. We're building an online food delivery system. There's a there's lots of methods in the projects that are new to me. Should I focus on one method and understand that one method? Uh, or yeah, guys try your best to write co coherent uh, I know ev not everybody has the, l the skill level to do that but this is I can't really n I don't know what you're saying is there something that a developer can focus on to learn when doing new lang uh, when making new language and when <laughs> when learning a new language on their projects uh, I need I'm sorry to bother you, my friend. I'm a newbie. All my focus are is right now on methods. I need the secret, the goal, and objective a real developer focuses on. So what I gather from what you said here is basically that you're trying to like do the deep learning thing, where you basically go to a language and then you try to learn all the interfaces and methods or whatever in this case it's JavaScript and you're going through all the methods what they're doing and then just trying to consume 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 now the thing I'm gonna tell you is that that is a very ineffective way of learning and you will most likely l lose everything that you learn everything you read within if, if it's not hours it's gonna be a few days maybe a few weeks it's it's not gonna work it's a similar sort of thing where um, you know some people will go and take a driver's test as an example now if you have a driver's license odds are that you will not be able to remember even half of the stuff that you read in the manual because you did the test once and the thing that stuck with you is most likely the stuff that you actually consciously you, you're consciously or unconsciously doing while you're driving but all the other theoretical stuff is usually not relevant because repetition is the best way humans retain information it is I would argue as far go as far as to say that it's the only way is the only thing repetition 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 so by going deep in this sense uh, or just trying to mass consume stuff you're actually m just wasting time for the most part it's similar to how I have like I can binge watch a tutorial like an eight hour tutorial on networking or an eight hour tutorial on AVS uh, services and their different systems and so forth and like what you can buy and pricing models and all that good stuff and I will retain maybe a few percent of that but I still enjoy doing it and then you do it again if then maybe you remember some more stuff but the thing that really is going to stick with you is practicing by doing that's the thing you should go for so what I like to say is that it is better to learn enough to solve a problem and solve many problems than it is to focus on mastering every part of one problem so that basically means that instead of trying to master everything that you are touching with the specific product you are you're on right now try to reach the end goal of that project to the best of your abilities because just doing that just reaching the goal is going to teach you enough to meet to to reach that goal and then you build the next thing because then you're going to repeat some stuff from the previous project and now that's going to go faster and then there's going to be new stuff and that's going to slow you down and now you're going to learn some more stuff and then you repeat that process over and over and over until you kind of just know how to get things done really quickly that doesn't necessarily mean that you know every single detail about everything and how it works under the hood or so forth but you have to accept that uh, there is a finite amount of depth that you're going to practically need in order to produce results. An example would be a the average web developer does not need to know how to compile a kernel or like the, or how the different interfaces at the kernel level works. You do not need to know it. It's interesting 
but it's not something that's practical for you to go and learn. And I mean, if you want to go read it, you know, then we need to talk about electronic and engineering and physics. And like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, you can go deep to the point where you are studying the universe instead of computer science. So uh, basically, that's what I'm telling you. Try to have a repetition mindset rather than trying to master every little detail of everything because in some cases even it won't it won't make sense to you as an example like why in the uh, well most people will not know oh, if we're taking JavaScript as an example when do you use the different functions why would you use say a map function over a for each or say the reduce method function on the array What's the what, what, why, why would that be useful? If you're just reading the documentation of the reduce method, you might get a sense of what it does, but its use, I'm not so sure. Like if, if it's practical, like to see to understand at the, at the gut level, like when do I want to use this? It's it that's the thing, right? And in other cases, it's the same sort of deal in in an even broader perspective where you cannot understand if you just look at a single function what it its value is because you need to have a broader understanding of the context that you find yourself in in order to make any sense of it. So what I want you to take away from this is that there is no secret secret or like how real devs like everybody learns their own way and I mean in I will just say that in the beginning I think that the thing that I'm saying is the thing that makes more se most sense. Build something, learn from the thing you just built and then build something else. And then you repeat that process until you're a senior level software developer and you get paid lots and lots of money because you've done this so many times. And when you get to that point and you start figuring out that, wow, this is actually kind of interesting, a few things, a few of the things that I've been learning, they're really cool, they're really interesting. I would like to go deeper on those things. And then you go deeper. Then you can specialize a little bit and you can like niche yourself and try to figure out things that are not really necessary per se for you to be able to do the job but it's pretty cool to figure it out and yeah that's lifelong learning for you have a great day